Well, these are some uh, Laclede Alpine snow chains. Um, don't need them down here in Florida, but you know I plan to be uh, maybe getting a place up north too, and uh, in the mountains. Um, this is going on the El Camino. I'm just going to test fit them, but I, I got these because I was researching and researching and researching a long time, and I says, yeah, I know snow chains are a pain in the ass to put on, and the cable chains aren't that strong, and a lot of these new gizmos they got out are not, they don't hold up. But um, what I like about these, take a look at, you see this uh, cable? It's got like a plastic around it, and it holds that cable, the cable's like a solid cable, see that? Um, and all you have to do is slide it behind the tire. So in other words, normally you're taking chains and you're sliding it behind a tire and then you got to reach way down back behind here to get it. Well, this is all like one solid piece. So you could just slide it in through that side. Now the next step is to attach it on the top. This is where this, this thing actually, I mean, it's not going to take me two minutes, but I could see where this takes a fraction of the time of other ones. I uh, thought they were USA, but they're made in China. <laughs> it's by a USA company. But um, I didn't pay. I jumped on this deal because 30 bucks plus shipping. They're not supposed to be that cheap. And um, I got my size here. This is the uh, I got 205 7014s. Um, if I put one size oversize on the uh, Cavalier, these will work too because they'll be 205. 70 or 195 70 15s, so they'll work on that too. So, um, they work for two vehicles, and I just happened to get a good deal on them. I said, Well, shit, brand new and everything, they're not supposed to be that cheap. But let me show you how in steps how to do it. I'm not going to be able to hold the camera for the whole thing, but it is. I just test fitted them the first time ever. And I says, Whoa, this literally took me five minutes, not two minutes, five minutes, easy. Tell you the truth, I'm having way more problem holding the camera in the light than I am putting a chain on. But uh, the first thing you want to do is, if you see, that's the that's that long piece that slid through the back of the tire. You want to attach it on the top of the tire. It's just a barrel connector. You can see it goes right in here. It slides in there, and then you slide that behind the tire very easily. Hard to hold the camera in the light at the same time. But uh, it's that's because you're attaching three places, it makes it a hell of a lot easier. Okay, next, after you attach that barrel connector on the top of the tire, and you can see I don't have room in this thing. This thing actually sits kind of low, right? I mean, some of these trucks, or there's an El Camino, springs are kind of saggy on it. <laughs> So this, I was looking really careful what the hell to put on here. So you just slide it to the back of the tire. Normally, they're not like that. You can't, you got to like reach behind the tire on the ground and do that. This is all from the top. Then you just hook this onto the closest link. And if you need to adjust these later, you can bring it up one link. You're going to drive it maybe, I don't know, 100 feet a couple times. But when you readjust them, it's going to be so simple, man. Uh, you don't need those star connectors or anything like that because it has a rubber connector already incorporated with it. So after you do this, you take this chain on the bottom. And you know, it's all color coded and stuff. You put it through, I'm trying to do this one hand, but you put it through this. See that? And you just put it up through that. Now I got to thread it through this loop and you don't need to just do the second loop if you can't reach it one loop is fine I'll show you what it looks like but just can't hold the camera at the same time but it literally took me five minutes to put it on first the freaking time I did this okay so I showed you like I just put it through here this loop here and it fits through two rings on this tire I guess it's the right I mean it does several sizes, but it's probably the size I have is probably right smack in the middle. So I'd rather have two loops anyway, but then you just attach it through the two loops, you come back and just connect it to a rank, a link, and it's held on, the tension is held on with this rubber. Um, 
Now, if you want to adjust them because they get a little bit loose, you can adjust them up here just by moving this to another link down here or just move this up to one or two more I mean that makes it simple as hell man I mean and then you don't have to worry about you know if this breaks you know this piece here I mean I'm sure that's replaceable it's just a little piece of rubber so I mean this is uh, this is sweet this is sweet I mean I literally I mean advertise it could take two minutes to put these on but the first freaking time I put them on was five freaking minutes now yeah it's not snowing out but um, I'll tell you what, putting the cable chains on my Jeep was a hell of a lot harder than doing this. This is great. And these are going to be a hell of a lot more traction than cable chains. Plus, you see the pattern? Where the hell is it? See the pattern right here? See? In other words, this is a very good pattern. It's not just going across like that. It's got the center link. And when these go like a diagonal like this, that gives it more lateral stability. Plus, this gives it stability from tire going back and forth like this. Like if you're going around a turn or something. I mean, you're not supposed to drive fast with these. It's up to 30 miles an hour in snow, no more than that. And uh, stay off the dry roads. But, you know, the big bitch with change is putting them on. A t well, taking them off isn't too bad. Well, these freaking, God, these would come off real easy, man. I mean, you just freaking unhook this. Well, I got it with two hands, but just unhook that. It's going to slide through here and unhook this, and I'm done. God. And it goes right back in the bag. <sighs> That's the big problem with chains is because they'll get you through anything. Anything. Um, it's putting them on. It's putting them on. You know, you, you'll need it for like a two-mile section of the road, then you want to take them the hell off, right? That's literally five minutes. And I can tell you this. When you're going through snow with chains, uh, if you got the right shit on, like with a posse, your snow could be up to here on the bumper. You could be pl you could be plowing snow, man. I mean, I see my dad go through his freaking snow with chains with an open end po open end rear on a '65 Falcon, pushing snow with the bumper. <laughs> so uh, they're good to have, but you don't thing is putting them on putting them on it's got to be easy and these are definitely i don't sell this crap i mean i i, I saw that deal online i said whoa i'm gonna jump on that um these are definitely way way easier to put on easier than cable chains and far far more traction 